we're now going to look at completing the square questions that are slightly more difficult because they've got a coefficient other than 1 in front of the x squared term. So let's write this first one as asked in the question in complete square form. Now we know how to do it for coefficients of 1 so let's try and make this x squared term have a coefficient of 1. Let's take out a factor of 5. That gives us x squared plus 2x in these factorised brackets. And now let's just ignore everything else other than those two terms here. They're the two terms that we need to complete the square. Equals 5. Now let's complete the square for this. So half of 2 is 1, so 1 goes in the bracket here, squared. And the extra bit we're going to get is when this plus 1 is squared. So if we take that off at the end, almost done now. Then we're going to multiply out these square brackets. 5, x plus 1, squared, minus 5. And there's our answer. Let's try a slightly more complicated one now. Part B. 4x squared plus 12x plus 3. So again, let's take out a factor of 4. Let's get the coefficient of this x squared term to be 1. x squared plus 3x. Close bracket. Plus 3. It's important we we'll leave this plus 3 out just makes the question a lot easier just take the first two terms when factorized let's complete the square x plus half of 3 is 3 over 2 squared and when we multiply these brackets out the extra bit we're going to get is this 3 over 2 squared so the top squared is 9 over 4 close bracket plus 3 equals, and as we did before, multiplying the square bracket out, 4x plus 3 over 2 squared, and 4 times minus 9 over 4 is minus 9, the 4s cancel, and obviously this is plus 3 bolted on the end. So let's simplify now, so 4x plus 3 over 2 squared, take 6 and there's the answer to that one finally the third one minus x squared plus 8x plus 3 well again this is almost the same as the previous examples we've got a number other than 1 in front of the x squared we've got minus 1 so we take out a factor of minus from the first two terms x squared minus 8x close brackets plus 3 so now we can see that that's minus x squared plus 8x yeah same as the line before which is good and complete the square for what's in the bracket x minus and half of 8 is 4 squared when we square this term we'll end up with plus 16 too many so we take that 16 away and the plus 3 bolted on the end equals multiplying the square brackets out we get minus x minus 4 squared minus minus 16 plus 16 plus 3 and then simplify minus x minus 4 squared plus 19 and that's just some examples of harder completing the square.